What was the best thing you ever found here? Hmm. That's, that's a hard one. Um, the year I was doing Dracula and I had to uh, line the coffin, I really needed a good red velvet. And actually, we found tucked away in the back these red velvet curtains. That, you know, they weren't even in fabric. I just found, we found them like in the back of the, like around here, just sitting on a table. That was a good find. Yeah, I actually built, uh, the last major thing I built was a coffin. That was a major, the back was coffin. That must have been a lot of work to build a coffin. It, it took all of Fourth of July weekend. Fourth of July I spent sitting inside this coffin, basically lining it with red velvet. We take this white lace off though, because I don't, I might put some black lace on there. Maybe Cordelia, I have this idea of Cordelia wearing silver. This is coming home. This is really gorgeous. Yeah, she's going to be dressed for battle, and then after she's captured, she loses whatever the battle is, and then she's in her underdress. And I was trying to convince Ted that I wanted her in silver to die, so maybe if I show him this, he'll decide that that's good enough. Ted and I had a chat, because Lear actually was 500, I thought he said AD, and it was actually BC. Which, and I kind of said to him, well, if we do that, everybody's going to be dressed in furs, you know, skins and sacks. So we, uh, up, we took, took it up a thousand years so that we can actually wear clothes. Would it, like, was it supposed to be like the time of Stonehenge or something? Yes, exactly. Which would be very uh, basic stuff. But you never see it. It's no. rare to see it that way, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. Well, I get, well, you know, the thing, too, is that, I mean, Shakespeare wasn't exactly being very modern, you know, very historically accurate either when you figure he's talking about um, lords and ladies and this, and there were no, was no such thing.